There we go, it's all the way down. Will Stribos, yeah. working on Will Stribos today. Whole bunch of Will Stribos puzzles. We've got, what's this one called? The no, four piece metal puzzle. Oh, you wrote everything out, yeah. I did, I did. All right, the aluminum cross, brand new. This was yeah. cool. Yeah, a couple brand new ones from the uh, Will Stribos. So, uh, let's start with this Wait, one, I guess. Not the... This one's the that's the sweater 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 cross and and plate. So this would be the plate. So this is the aluminum cross. Uh, it's a level eight. It is a puzzle that Will Stry. It's actually the first puzzle Will Strybos ever designed. Apparently he designed it back in the 1980s. And so uh, yeah, it's if it's got these. Well, it's an aluminum cross and then. Means. It's got his like signature right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a signature engraved into the metal there. And then there's these pins and you can kind of kind of hear them rattling around. So yeah, it, and it feels like they connect. It's like you can, this one at least. Yeah, well, and connect. this one yeah. is smaller. Flip it, flip it. Flip it, oh, then this? Yeah, and then this the, one. that one, yeah. yeah. So it's interesting, but they do, mm, I actually don't know if that one connects. It doesn't feel like it does. Okay, oh no, it, it does. Drops in yeah, it does. Through, it yeah. does. It doesn't spin. This one spins. Oh, look at that. Oh, I got one move done. I don't know. Okay. Must have done something. I've heard this one's harder too. That's a level nine. This is a level eight. That's a level nine. Yeah. They're doing some different weird things on this. There's like a plexiglass front to each of these. Yeah, it's pretty right? cool. And then they got three balls in there with a little little hole. Huh. So I was thinking that you need a. Oh, I did get two of them in. Did you? Hold on. Okay, so I got the third one in there. So those balls move through the holes? Yeah, but it doesn't drop all the way to the bottom one. Huh. Well, maybe I got What else get... is on that? There's a signature. His signature. So Will Stribos' signature, and there's something else on that one, hey? Uh, Sweat Across. Sweat Across. Okay, he's engraved the name in there. Apparently this one's named after his girlfriend or something. They took some trip, trip somewhere. It's named after uh, Will Stribos' girlfriend. Yeah. Comes know. with this plate. Yeah. Which has nothing to do with the solution, literally just for displaying it. So you put it in there, looks real purdy. <laughs> um, there's also something about this looking like the Switzerland flag. Okay, so you put it in there, it's like oh, that okay, Swiss flag. Kinda, yeah, white on the you. red red background. So I don't know, there's some, something about that in the description on Puzzle Master's site. So I can't okay. actually look at this now. Now this one's moving out. I it's, it's like I'm solving oh, dude, you got it. Little, uh, there's a little. Yeah, there's a little notch in there. So I don't know what I'm doing, man. But I'm like I'm like solving it here as we go. I'm trying to like get it back to the start so we can put this away. And I have no, like, not me, man. I'm trying to solve this. Yeah, I have no idea. But I just I've just been like turning the turning these little rods and That's stuff funny. is happening. Whether you got to get like all three balls into it or just like two. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm assuming too on these that the the cross piece, right? One's gonna one piece is gonna come out of the other one. Cool. Yeah. So these are brand new, brand new ones that just came out from Will Stribos, and then we've got two here that are just uh, Will Stribos, but and they we've shown them before. So uh, these are just back in stock though. So these were out of stock for a long time. So you've got the Revenge Lock, which is super awesome. That is a Fantastic puzzle. Okay. I figured this one out. No, not at all. Man. I watched uh, Chris Ramsey does it. He has a oh, video. Yeah? He does it. Um, there should be a paper in this one too, isn't there? In the Revenge Lock? Check it out. No. Is there not? No. Oh. oh, Chris Ramsey had something. When he did it, did it there was like these little steps that like he had to find the, the Wanderer. You had to find your number, a bunch of stuff like that. So yeah, it's, it's a cool puzzle. That, that one's really awesome. Um, also pretty expensive, 
but uh, well worth it. It's, uh, yeah. If you want to watch it, the, the Chris Ramsey video is excellent. So, and then this is the, uh, this is the four piece metal puzzle. And so it kind of looks like a jigsaw puzzle. Whoa, there we go. There we go, okay, got it. Look at this. Freed it up. Yeah, wow, so that's, that's, that's the number. Each, each has like a different number engraved on it. So that's number 591. Wow. And uh, yeah, so you're, you're definitely on, well on your way to solving it now. So I'll show you, I, I know the solution to this one. This one's actually pretty fun. Pretty fun solution. So you grab, grab the piece here and some of them do, so you'll see, if you notice here, so you pull this this silver one and all the pieces kind of open up like that. If you do some of the other ones, apparently they don't open up as much. I'm not sure if that's true, but that's what I was told. And then, so you, you get that, you open it up and then there's a, go in the middle here, there's a spot where, right there, where it separates out. You just kind of got to get the feel for it, but you separate the two pieces, get it in that like proximate spot. There, so it slides back in. And it's great, it's, it actually, when you play with it, it feels like it shouldn't come apart or should come apart easier maybe, I don't know. But it actually doesn't come apart unless you have that one, that one little move. So that's the four piece metal puzzle. In the event, any more progress on that one? Ooh, I like the but bottom piece is coming out if I'm as you turn as it? I screw it. Hold on. Oh! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> okay. We're gonna need somebody to put this back together. So we made a bit of progress. I got some progress on this aluminum cross. Okay, see if you can do that one. What level is this one again? It's a level eight, hey, so it's not too bad. My, my hands are starting to hurt, so you know what the... That's a good puzzle when your hands start hurting. Let's trade. From stuff. See if we can figure something out. Get it further. There's only a certain way that that one will press back in. I'm wondering if this pin isn't just a long pin that goes through. Oh, oh he solved it! Look at that. Can you take it apart more? So it is. There's just pins in the bar, and you gotta have those bars in the right spot. Yeah. Like there's two pins. So there's like this hole. Right, like this hole has a bottom. So if the pin is stuck in there, it's not gonna work. But then you can get the pin to drop into. Oh, ah. there it is, okay. Right, so then you need to get it into this hole, I think, to drop it out to get this piece out. Right, right. but it keeps wanting to go back into that. And you gotta move this piece so it goes, look, it can go through that bar or it can go out here. Yeah. That's crazy. That is so much more complex than I would've thought. Yeah, I didn't expect there to be two pinholes. So then you can kind of see the spring on this side too. Right, and then it's got this little uh, little blocker here. So I bet you this revenge lock is something similar to that too. That's nuts. That's a... That's a cool puzzle. That's a lot, man. Are you gonna be able to put it back? I'm hoping. No? Let me, here, let me... Let me, let me take a look. Let's switch back. Let's switch okay. back. So I don't, this part I don't mind doing. This is fun. So, so Tony, this pin's gonna have to move over and then into that that hole. Yeah. Once it's on, I see. Okay, so over. Then I gotta get past that collar, right? Okay, there I'm past the collar. So now I gotta get that pin to drop back down. I gotta find that hole. So I'm past the collar now. Is that? Is that? Oh, that's right. This, this is, is right. This is right. I have to pull, pull it. I have to pull it out. I think I have to pull it. Yeah. And then. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's partial. There we go. It's all the way down. Oh, but then look at this. The 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 pressure of the oh. So look at this. Okay. So now that pin won't drop because it's being held by the pressure of that spring. Yeah. So you got to release this so the pin drops in. Interesting. So 
pins got to drop into there. And then, so they, that's why this is sticking out. So you got to get that pin back into that. I bet you you're right. It's probably into that hole. You're right. It's probably into that hole that it has to get. Yeah. So that'll be what stops it. Yeah, that would be. You're a hundred percent right. Oh, that's nuts. And I've got to pull this at the right time so it can drop into that hole. And that hole was in the long track on there, right? Dude. Hey. Well. This has been extremely frustrating. <laughs> this has been. <sighs> well, should we call it? Yep. We've like mostly solved the aluminum cross and like then maybe three quarters, maybe three, maybe a quarter. Cause I'd say half is like getting the shackle open. Yeah. But we figured out how to move the pins. I don't know. I think that counts for something. <laughs> Great. But yeah, there's a Ugh. partial solutions to the aluminum cross and revenge lock from Will Stribos. So uh, yeah, let's jump into a little bit of um, some other stuff here. We have, some you, cool YouTube videos that come out recently from uh, Chris Ramsey, Puzzle Guy, Ross DM, and Oscar Van Deventer. So Chris Ramsey put out this, uh, it's called the Aquarius Drawer. It's from the Karakuri Creation Group and it's this crazy like wood thing that's drawers. Uh, Karakuri Creation Group does like the um, puzzle, puzzle boxes. boxes. The Japanese puzzle boxes. Japanese ones, it's super well made. So definitely check that video out. Um, Puzzle Guy does a brand new puzzle from Hanayama that we actually don't have here at Puzzle Master yet called Snowflake. Uh, Hanayama is a Japanese company, so it was probably available in Japan because the one he has has like all Japanese writing on it. So he probably got it from there from, directly from Hanayama. But we will be having that uh, snow puzzle. It looks like a snowflake, but brand new from Hanayama. So Puzzle Guy does it. If you want to see the solution or just kind of get a little quick picture of what that puzzle looks like. Check out uh, Puzzle Guy uh, Snow, or the cast snow from Hanayama. And then Ross DM does the rattle. Now, have you solved rattle? You know which one of that is? It's the Hanayama one, where there's like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like the two pieces and they kind of like, like ah, it, it yeah, moves around a lot. That's frustrating, man, I hate that one. So yeah, it was, it is. I feel, cause it feels really loose and like you should be able to solve it easy, but uh, Ross does it. So uh, Ross, um, I forgot what his last Dude, name I spent is. a lot of time on that one because it feels like there should be like a track that things slide yeah. through and it almost falls apart. So here's the crazy thing. Ross is holding it and all of a sudden he moves it and it just falls apart in his hands. I like, okay. I feel like four minutes into the video, four and a half minutes and it just all falls apart. And he's like, oh crap. Like he didn't see anything like on it. So it just falls apart. And I think they're actually, it's four pieces that are exactly identical. It looks like it at least. I didn't see that for sure but it's four identical pieces and they all just, he found a spot and the whole thing just like fell apart in his hands. But he does do the solve, so check that out, Ross DM on uh, YouTube. And then uh, Oscar Van Deventer has something new too recently. He did call the Heptaclaw. So Oscar Van Deventer has been like, he is the puzzle guy that has been like, or Mr. Puzzle or like, he's, he's the, the yeah, like the, the, he's, he's the best thing, man. The guy's been doing puzzles since, before puzzles were even a thing really so but he has this one called the haptic claw so it's this uh, giant twisty puzzle that he made on his 3d printer and it's like these seven claw pieces that like come together like that and so there's a black claw and a multicolored claw that come together and then like the whole thing twists and like moves it's pretty cool okay. so he 3d printed it he does a little more of the twisty puzzle stuff but uh, definitely check that video by oscar van de Venter. i thought it was actually really neat and uh, he always, I think he shoots like in his backyard in, where is he from? Dutch. Is he Dutch? Yep. Yeah. So it's like he shoots in his backyard and like, it seems like it's perpetual nice weather, not snowy like here. And then uh, yeah, he just shows you some of the stuff he creates in his house and his, on his 3D printer. The guy is a mathematical genius. And uh, yeah, that's his thing. Yeah, he did something with uh, figuring out how to stream from your phone to your TV. Like he invented the. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, guy, uh, the guy is just off the off the charts smart. So I think a lot of these guys are. I think like honestly, man, to make like Will Stribe or stuff like this, you gotta be pretty smart to be able to think through this and like make that. I feel like the smart guys make them. The fun guys are the less smart guys solve them, maybe. <laughs> 
uh, on video. So, thank you guys for watching. This was our Will Stribos episode of Puzzle Time with Tony and Tyler. He's Tony. I'm Tyler. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you again later. Thank you. Bye bye. See you.